It's true that Christianity is associated with miracles, but some African pastors take miracles way too far. From pastors that beat their members to pastors that raise live men from the dead. Here are some of the strangest miracles by African pastors caught on camera. There is no pastor more associated with unusual miracles than Pastor Odumeje, the Indaboski. I shall be a terror that the kingdom of darkness shall fear. Everyone can never be preaching love. I'm not a man of preach of love. I'm a war. I'm a fight. I'm an Indaboski. Bowser. From his wrestler-like entrance to the miracles he performs, everything about Odumeje screams unusual. One of such miracles was when he carried a man carefully, then flung him across the room. In fact, that's Odumeje's signature wrestling move. Take it up the hammer, the world heavyweight champion of the most high. <laughs> watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. That is a man of power. It still amazes me how that guy didn't end up with some broken bones. But I guess that's what happens when you are flung by the heavyweight champion of the Most High. Any problem you are here with, fear not. Now, while this looks strange, what Pastor Lesogo Daniels did was so bad that his members could have died from it. This pastor tried to replicate the miracle where Jesus turned water into wine. But he went a step too far when he decided to turn petrol into pineapple juice. I'm turning it into Pineapple juice. I'm turning it into pineapple. First, he proved it was petrol by pouring it into a pan and setting it on fire. Then, he turned it into wine and allowed members of his church to start drinking. How is it? <coughs> There's a lot of fumes, uh -huh. but I don't have any side effect. Seriously? This guy should be put in jail for endangering the life of his congregation. But his miracle wasn't nearly as hilarious as the next one. Where Pastor Samuel Kakande decided to become Prime Ronaldino in his church, dribbling members till they fell down. <laughs> you would think this was a comedy show, but this pastor was actually casting out demons from his dribbled congregation. Or at least that's what he wants us to believe. I've never seen such kind of thing. Jesus is there. Yes, why? The fact that one of his members gave testimony about his dribbling deliverance being effective just shows how naive they must be. But at least it makes for a good laugh. Unlike when Pastor Lethobo Rabalago decided to turn up the heat on his congregation. Pastor Rabalago decided that the best way to perform healing miracles on his congregation was to spray insecticides into their eyes. Now, if that isn't outrageous, tell me what is. According to him, God had given him the power to heal people with all kinds of diseases, including HIV and cancer. The Limpopo Health Department has been granted an interdict against controversial pastor Letebo Rabalajo. Rabalajo sprayed members of his congregation with doom. The interdict effectively bars the pastor from using hazardous materials for so-called healing purposes on his congregants. Health officials have warned it poses serious health concerns. They've since recommended that Rabalajo's mental state be evaluated. This case makes you wonder who's actually sick. Is it the pastor himself or the congregation that allowed him to spray insecticides into their eyes? Even when conducting miracles, you would expect a pastor to be concerned about the safety of his members. But according to Pastor Rabalago, the insecticide he used was an order from God. So who's telling you to use doom? God. God's telling you. And has God told you about the side effects of spraying doom in someone's eyes? Yes. The next one is a miracle reminiscent of when Jesus walked on water. Pastor Bushiri, who operates many churches in South Africa, released a video where it appears like he's walking on air. If you notice, you would see that the moment he starts walking on water, the camera is focused only on his legs and we can't see what's going on with his upper body. This is probably something similar to what is used in movies, and it's not even properly done. Maybe Pastor Bushiri just thinks everyone is dumb, or he doesn't care if people believe it or not. 
But if you think this was strange, wait until you see Pastor John Anosike raise a man from the dead. What is it? Huh? Blood. Spirit of death, depart. During a church service at Ginosko International Ministry in South Africa, a man reportedly slumped and died. On seeing this man, Pastor John decided to pray for him and this guy rose back to life instantly. <laughs> Be gone. In Jesus' name. Amen. Be gone. Amen. Let him go and rest. How can somebody die in my presence? How's that for a miracle? Anyway, we have Pastor Bushiri here again with another unusual miracle. I invite the glory of God to appear in this place in the form of wind, in the form of a burning fire. This time, he decides to summon God right from heaven in the form of a fire. In the form of a burning fire, I call the glory. This is unbelievable at the least, because who summons God? But at least let's give him some credit because fire soon appeared just outside the church. Or at least something that looks like fire. Now isn't that spectacular? Speaking of spectacular miracles, perhaps none can be as unusual as when Prophet Makandiwa of United Family International Church decided to run an instant weight loss program in church. You know and you want to lose weight instantly. How many kgs? 110 110 kgs. <laughs> okay. In Jesus' name. Touch! Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Let's check it. Check your waist. Let's hear from here. Huh? He even came prepared with a scale, which he used to confirm the effectiveness of his weight loss miracle on the lady. The lady even claimed her skirt was tight before, but it got loose after she fell from the pastor's powerful weight loss prayer. If that's not hilarious enough, watch the moment Pastor Sia won made money miraculously appear in a guy's pockets. You don't have money in your pockets. Remove your pocket, I see. There is no money. Remove yours, I see. There is nothing. Can I put money in their pocket? Before performing the miracle, the pastor had told the guy to open his pockets just to show the congregation that he had no money with him. And then he claimed that he could make money appear in the guy's pockets instantly using something called do as I say. This is do as I say. This is do as I say. That's what I used to perform. He then prayed and commanded money to enter the guy's pockets and check your pockets. Money somehow appeared in his pockets. Even though it looks outrageous, I'm sure people will be queuing up to get their do as I say after that. But you'll be surprised to see that people also queue up to be bathed by a pastor. Well, that's what happened in Pastor Blinks' church. And according to him, this was to cleanse them from evil spirits. Amen. 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 One question no one is asking though is why he only bathes his female members. Maybe God only anointed him to save women from evil spirits after all. Speaking of women, Pastor Zendile November instructed a woman to put her shoe under her private parts to help clear the pimples there. Now that's all levels of unusual. And after placing the shoe down there, the woman falls down and claims that the pimples are not gone. Isn't that wonderful? But seriously, some of these pastors will make better skit makers. Just watch how he performs the miracle. <laughs> Hey, 
In number four, we have Pastor Light Monieki from South Africa instructing some members of his congregation to drink rat poison to show forth their faith. He told the worshippers at the Grace Living Hope Ministries to drink from a bottle that was laced with rat eggs, a notorious rat poison, to nourish their bodies and heal their sicknesses. Light Monieki was the first person to drink from the bottle, after which other members followed suit. It was later learned that the rat poisoning miracle led to the deaths of some members while others were hospitalized. When interrogated, Pastor Light Monieki revealed that he did not drink out of the bottle but only pretended to do so. This guy should be jailed at the least. At least Pastor Lesogo Daniel didn't tell his members to drink rat poison. Instead, he opted for something more primitive, grass. So I'm going to give them food from above. Now people are fasting, but they're going to eat the fulfillment from above. Wake up! Stand up! Stand up! Upright! Attention! Look at that! Look at that food! Be quiet! Be quiet! Okay, go and eat! Go and eat! Go eat outside! Go quickly! This pastor told his members to eat grass, claiming that it would bring them closer to God and heal their sicknesses. The funny thing is that the members actually listened and ate the grass. One even shared a testimony that her sore throat got healed after she ate grass. Another member said that she suffered a stroke for about two years but started gaining strength and that later she walked after an hour. Guess we all should start eating grass already. Uh, awesome. I did. This man of God is, this, uh, is demonstrating the power of God's life. Mm. You would expect a pastor to know how to treat a woman. But the reverse is the case for Pastor Daniel Obini, the founder of International God's Way Church. In the name of casting out demons from a pregnant woman, he kicked and stepped on her stomach and started speaking in tongues. According to him, he was curing the affliction of the lady and that the deliverance was also trying to ensure the safe delivery of the child. Well, that sounds ridiculous. In number one, we have a magic trick gone wrong. Pastor Bushiri, popularly known as Major One, during one of his miracles, called on to a man in his church and said that the man has a child and that he has never seen the child and doesn't even know the child's name. Do you have children? Yes, man of God. I've How many? Two. 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 This child in his prayer, do I know the names of your children? No, man of God. Did you tell me? No, I didn't tell you. Huh? No. He said that he had seen a vision where the child's picture had been revealed to him by God. Go deeper, Papa. Professor, How do you pronounce this one? Just wait. He then asked for a tablet and went on to conjure the picture of the child onto the tablet. I'm failing to get the name in the spirit, but wait. Professor, why should I be struggling yet I can capture her in the spirit? Who has an iPad? An Professor. iPad. Can I use this iPad and capture? Can I capture? I bet you are. Oh, keep a man of God. Little did he know that the cameras were onto him, that he was filmed when he tapped on the gallery options of the tablet and showed the picture of a baby to the congregation. 